Okay, now, you're visiting at a time Nigeria is celebrating 60 years uh, since independence. Well, it's a year-long celebration, and you're a Nigerian. Yes, you're the UNDSG, but you're also a Nigerian. I don't know which one comes first, maybe Nigerian first. But, you know, regarding Nigeria, <laughs> there's been a lot of talk about how far we have come. And I think you were born just a year after independence. So, I mean, you understand this well. There's been a lot of talk about how far we have come, how far we have to go. And I'd just like to get your thoughts on this. For the next 10 years, maybe, what should be our focus as a nation? I think, yes, I am. I'm an independence baby, a celebration of, of Nigeria's independence. And so um, I, I, my generation knew the very best part of Nigeria because we had the best education. Um, we were exposed to so many things that were about nation building. And at that time, a service that from the, the civil service, we really did serve. I mean, I, that's how we saw our parents. The next 10 years should be about, um, I think, the reflection on how we are better together than we are um, separated by uh, what has really been a real problem for us with ethnicity, with religion, um, with the political divides that have been created. The diversity and strength of Nigeria's fabric um, has been weakened. And I think over the next 10 years, we should find ways of making sure that this, uh, as I say, the asset base of our country, our women and our youth, that we strengthen those threads of our fabric uh, because they are very strong, they are very diverse, and, and we have to learn um, to respect each other's value to this great nation that we call Nigeria. Um, and, and that's what we have to do. We have to hang together because individually um, we won't be able to do it. The lift is huge. The next 10 years to take this population where it needs to go requires us to join hands together. We need to see the good in us um, and we need to recognize the glass that is not quite full. What are we going to do to, to fill it? Um, we need to, to really, we really need to see the good in Nigeria. And so much has happened that is good about us. And um, yes, there are lots of things that are not right, but if you dwell on them, then we're never going to make it. So I think we need to recognize what is not right and work towards making it happen and know that we can do this together individually and collectively. We have responsibilities. Um, and to respect each part of this country, we all have something to add in, in value. But we have to invest in that. So the next 10 years is the last 10 years of the, the 2030 agenda, the 17 goals. And, and just look at those goals as an integrated way in responding to Nigeria's needs. They're very, very um, representative of those needs that we have. Education is a big one. Uh, a society that, uh, that, uh, that says no uh, to violence against women, against anyone for that matter. Um, a society that uh, really empowers the entrepreneurial spirit that we have um, and that we lead in this continent. Um, because that's what's needed, leadership. And Nigeria can provide that leadership. Uh, it's Speaking all over, of leadership. I mean, particularly when you see the young women that we have. Right. Um, you know, on I, that I note. Think it's, you know, it's too good to miss. So I'm yeah. very hopeful. On that note, now you talk about leadership and women. Do you still think that a woman will succeed President Buhari as the next president of Nigeria? That is my hope. That is my hope, and I do not see that there isn't a woman that cannot do that. And I always believe that you should strive for that aspiration. Um, you don't fail for want of trying. So, you know, women should stand up. Uh, they are 50% of the vote. Um, and if they can convince the, the he for she's, the, the men who support women, uh, then why not? Absolutely, why not? There is no reason why a woman cannot lead Nigeria. Um, and I, I think that what we really need, whether it's a man or a woman, is a Nigerian. Someone who looks at this country um, in its unity as a strength um, and really begins to to talk about moving forward, uh, realizing those aspirations or potentials that we talk about, move from the paper to the practical realities that can happen in our 774 local governments, in our 36 states and FCT, there is work to do and it is possible. Um, and it's certainly possible under the leadership of a woman.